So Danny, you started playing in 2007. Uh, a lot of water's flowed under the bridge between then and now. How are you feeling? You know, I feel all right, mate, to be fair. Good body's creaking a little bit, mate. Right? But, you know, just trying to enjoy sort of my last season. Um, obviously, come to terms with that, what it's going to be. It's going to be my last one um, doing it. So, just got my mind focused on, on enjoying every time, every moment that I get to do it and, you know, building for the future afterwards. I think it'd be fair to say that it's a tough season right now for LFC. Do, is your experience helping the younger generation come through, do you think? Well, I'm, I'm hoping so. That you know, That's what one of the reasons why I sort of went round again was to, one, enjoy you know, the last of our, sort of, so to speak, and, and two, bring some young kids through. We've got some great young kids here, young Charlesy, Moy, you know, they're just a couple of names, you know, just to roll off the tongue, but you know, if I can give them a little bit of knowledge and a little bit of experience along the way, then you know, I've sort of done my job for the, for the next generation. So it's likely that this could be your last season at Hull SC. This chapter's closing and a new chapter of your life is about to open. What have you done to plan for life after rugby? Yeah, look, so I've, um, I've got a, a resin business, um, interior and exterior, the driveways. Um, also dipping out in and out of schools, um, putting my foot in, in them doors. Um, more like behavioural side and the sports side of it. I really enjoyed when I've been going in there and, and, and looking after that sort of area. Um, so just just keeping open-minded really about it all. Um, with a resin business, you know, I was approached by you know, a friend of mine who had done the courses to get on the courses and, and, and go and, and obviously went down that line, done that. So I wish I'd done it five, ten years ago. And, and you know, at this stage now, I'd probably been able to take a sit back and, and watch the business go on. But, no, I haven't. Um, I'm enjoying it. No, I'm glad I've done it now um, or, or last year and it's given me time while I'm playing to, to sort of build up a little bit of relationships with people and a connection and a bit of a you know, background into, into it all. And no, I'm really enjoying doing it. One message we hear consistently from former players is I wish I'd started planning earlier. And you've yeah. just, you just echoed that for us. What's it like um, starting your own business um, and also juggling the demands of a full-time athlete? How would you cope with that? Yeah, it's, it's pretty tough sometimes, obviously. You know, try and work around the training schedule. So days off won't be days off. It'll be going to a job, pricing a job up, uh, whatever it may take. But you know, just I just find putting them things in place now while we've got them them sort of times and that, that, that good period of like I say, when you've got days off and things like that, going out and, and getting your face out there and, and doing work and, and building that clientele and that that sort of rapport before just falling into the unknown, you know, when it all finishes here. You know, it's something that I think has helped me help perform as well. You know, having knowing that you've got that cushion to fall back on when I retire, rather than thinking, what's coming? What, what What's next? Um, that, that anxiety of that... Um, no, I would imagine a lot of players sort of go through that. So to to have something in place, you know, putting my foot into schools, I've had a, you know, a few good talks to some head teachers around the place, and you know, there's something there for me if if I want to go down that avenue as well. So you know, I feel real comfortable in the position that you know, when it does come to an end, you know, I'm ready for it, and you know, things are in place. I want to ask you about your qualities and your character strengths and the, the skills we learn as rugby players: teamwork, discipline, communication, uh, leadership. Do you think they're helping you as you forge two new careers at the moment? Oh, for me, hundred uh, percent. Just especially in, when I've been going into the to the school environment, just them traits that rub off on kids. You now some kids have come from you know, schools I've been in, bad backgrounds, um, you know, different to to other people within the school. So to be able to communicate and, and understand you know, where they are and what what they're going through, you know, this game. You know, gives you everything for that um, and that leadership side, especially running your own business, you know, being able to sort of command and and put things in place and, and tell people you know, what needs to be done and stuff. Um, and also the other side of it, you know, that listening side, you know, someone might know a little bit different, might want to do it a different way and you sort of have sort of took that upon me, especially in, in the resin side, uh, when laying, you know, some boys have had better ideas and you know, to be able to sit back and go, yeah, you know, that, that's the right thing, even though you know, I'm in that high position than them. You know, I think that's a, a, a great skill to have, that you know, people know some more things than what you do. Yeah, that's a great point. Um, looking back to your debut season in 2007, what advice would you give a young Danny right now? Enjoy every minute of it. Um, it comes on quick. You know, from, from being a 70-year-old kid, from my first game to now, 
you know, I was told by a fellow, you know, fellow player at that time, you know, it'll come around like that, and you don't believe it. You sort of think, nah, 15, 16 years away, and it has. It's sort of like blink of an eyelid. I'm sat here, and it and it is coming to an end. So, you know, for a young Danny Alton, I'd say enjoy every minute, plan for the future, get some it done now, um, or or then when I was maybe not 17, 18. You know, you've got to enjoy your rugby, make sure you, you're performing at your level to be able to then sort of fall into that way. You can go, right, rugby's looked after, and I can focus on, a, on, on what I want to do after. But you now at 23, 24, I really should have started you know, going down that avenue then and, and really thinking about what I want to do. But you know, like we all do, we get, we get caught up in, I'm enjoying my rugby. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm miles away from, from retiring. Uh, I'll do it next year. I'll do it next year. I'll do it next year. And you know, if I could say anything to, to Danny Alton back then, it's uh, this is the year. Go do it now. Get some. Get some ready.